Good morning teachers, good morning everyone. In this video, I'm going to share with you my design automated consolidated grade point average or GPA to consolidate by department or by school by grade level. This will automatically count the range of grade from these selections okay all you need to do is just to copy and paste all the grades for grade 7 this column green so grade 7 for grade 8 yellow for grade 9 male and female red and so on this template actually can handle a maximum of 50 teachers okay so as we scroll down uh, there are numbers here meaning form 6 7 8 and so on up to 50 okay so for example for instance you have a grade 7 class so you just simply open your class record or e-class record and then copy and paste the grades to the corresponding column so highlight the grades of the students or for example for male highlight right click copy then go back to your template here and then paste for for example that's that is your grade 7 class so you paste it here for grade 7 paste values only so this one two three icon so click this one to paste the mail and that will automatically count okay so automatically count depending on the range of grade so going back to your e-class record you highlight the female then right click and then copy and then paste it on going back to your template paste it on the female right click paste only values that's for instance for grade 7 so for example if you have also grade 8 you paste it here for grade 8 if you handle also grade 9 here if you have grade 10 here okay so for instance, you have two sections for grade 7. So, you can simply indicate. So, this is one form. And this is the second. You notice that uh, there are numbers from 1 to 37. So, meaning this can handle, this template can handle 1 to 37 students for male and 37 for female. So, look at the template. 1 to 37. Okay, so... For example, you have two sections for grade 7 or 3. So, you can use actually the second template. So, you can actually indicate here, for example, these are your grades. You can simply type here. You can actually edit here on the yellow. And then you can type here, for example, this is your grade. Oh, for example, that's your grade 7, for instance. Then, you have also grade 9. So, you can actually put here for thus G9. If you have also handle grade 10, you can also put grade grade 10. So, you press enter. So, uh, this is only an indicator that this form, this form 1, you have actually input grade 7, grade 9, and grade 10. So, you can input here grades. So, for instance, I'm going to add... Uh, just for tutorial, I'm going to type here grades 80 and that, that will actually add so to the range of grades. So for instance, for female, okay, so that's for grade 9 here, grade 9. So look at here at the template. For example, I'm going to add 99 here. So just to check if this template is actually working correctly so 99 and look this will add one female student look at here for grade 9 row when i press enter so this will add four female so meaning this will change to one enter so if that's one plus one and then 99 and that will add for the range for 99 here for grade 9 here you can see there is one male and female for 90 to 100 because you can see here there is 98 and 99 for this grade 9 row. Okay, so for grade 10, look for grade 10, there are no entries. So for example, so to maximize your time, you just simply copy and paste 
there are grades here so but you can actually type uh, grades here so just to check if this is working we're going to type 70 okay for instance for male that will add one here for grade 10 male okay so we will also for example we will type 87 for grade 10 so 87 so the total for grade 10 actually is one male one female so two so there is 74 and below because 70 and 87 so look at for grade 10 for the range for 87 here so there is one and that is female so meaning this uh, template actually is uh, correct so you do the same with this column so depending on the grades you handle so for example you are handling two grade seven so you have only one grade seven here so you can add actually on the second here on the second form look at uh, it, it starts with one you can paste grades here for grade seven so meaning if you're going to add grades here it will automatically adds grade two grade seven so plus four students okay so that will automatically count the total students number of students and it will add from that's uh, male it will add from male and that will also uh, automatically count the range of grades so all you need to take note is the green is for grade 7 only grades for grade 7 yellow is for grade 8 and so on so do that input grades which is uh, which do not belong to the color code okay so for example for your second teacher so your teacher number two you can actually upload this one on your you can download and upload this one to your google drive and then you can make it as google sheet uh, so that you, they can input actually online so this will actually simplify if you are assigned to consolidate a gpa for uh, each department or in your school okay so for example in your uh, this is your second teacher in your department or in school for example uh, this is juan okay then juan is handling for example grade 7 g7 enter so just simply copy and paste the grades here for this second teacher so for example here's uh sarti for instance i am handling two grade seven you can actually change here and type again my last name sarti grade seven and this is your second section for grade seven and just simply paste here grades okay so copy and paste uh, for example just to for tutorial purposes uh, for example this is my second section for grade seven you can copy the grades actually copy and paste it to your template so grade 7 did, uh, for example this is my second section you can actually overwrite here you can paste here and that will automatically count paste okay so automatic that will take effect on the grade 7 row only here so if you're going to paste for example on grade 12 see zeros entries for grade 12 on grade 11 for instance i have grade 11 okay i can paste that one here for example that's male and automatic that will take effect on grade 11 so for grade 12 for example female paste okay so automatic that will take effect on the grade 12 okay and you can change the logo here with your name you can edit this one to second quarter or for example you can edit this one I have actually allowed uh, anyone to edit this portion of worksheet okay here you can edit you can change the logo or you can right click and then uh, change picture and then from file for example the your school logo you just simply browse for example this is our logo you click insert and you can actually change the logo okay so for elementary you can change this one uh here you can see there is an indicator you can change for example if you're handling grade one you can change this one to one okay so you make sure that you're going to input grades for grade ones grade one only here on green 
So, for example, here, for grade 2, you can change this one for grade 2. And so on. Grade 3, 4, 5, and 6. So, automatic, that will automatically change here at your template. So, this is actually easy to print because you press Ctrl P. Okay, so that is already set for printing. And you can directly print this one. Okay, so that's all I have to you today. If this video helpful to you, please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so that you will be updated of all the new tutorials, templates that I'm going to upload. Thank you so much for watching.